Welcome to the car guys and this week we are here at Bewley for the Simply Italian Italian Cars Gathering. This is an extravaganza of Italian motor automotive deliciousness. Oh. We've got Fiat's, we've got Ferraris, we've got Maseratis, we've got Lancia's, Lancia's, Alfa Romeo. Yeah, Romeo's, we've got literally everything here. It's a smorgasbord of Italian metal. Yes it is, and what we're doing this week, we're going to walk around, we're going to talk nonsense for about 10 minutes. Perfect. <laughs> Here we are then, we are here at Bewley and we're here for Simply Italian. And what does that mean? Simply Italian means it is the essence of the Italian car scene. We have Ferraris, we've got Maseratis, we've got Alfa Romeos, we've got Fiat's, everything you could possibly imagine. It's a big show, it's one of the biggest here at Bewley. We're gonna go around, look at each car, we're gonna pick out the ones that really speak to us. Jason may well be quite offensive at times, so we're gonna to have to be what? careful with that. But we just thought you would like a flavor of what it's like to attend this event and be photobombed. <laughs> and as you can see, we bought three of the Car Guys cars here today. We've got the 488 Pista Spider, 458 Speciale Aperta, and we've also got the 458 Italia. We're representing, we brought our finest. Now it's time to see everyone else's finest. Let's go. So we thought we'd start here at some Ferraris, of course. The right place to start when you're talking about Italian cars. We've got a beautiful grey 812 Superfast. However, right next to it, we have quite a special machine. This is a yellow 599 GTO, one of only 599. Yeah. But it looks pretty striking, actually. Black wheels yellow car 599 a very special car well jason what do you think about this one i love the color as well what color is this it's going to be jello something jello something which yeah. is obviously yellow so great Correct. help there damien nice. yes exactly <laughs> yeah i absolutely love these ones i particularly like the buttresses back here there is looking down the rear of this car and we had to see daylight through it is, is absolutely spot on and actually next to it we've got a standard 599 GTB so you can see the differences between the two this one's got the split rims on it does look quite good in black there yes I'm loving the split rims I'm a big fan of a split rim but over here we've got something fairly current fairly brand new the V6 Maserati that MC20. Blue, that blue is amazing, isn't it? Still a very rare car that you see on the roads at the moment. By all accounts, a lovely car to drive. We haven't driven one yet. Would you have one of these? Mm, no. Well, that's a rare beast. I mean, there's an awful lot of wood in here. This gentleman is the owner. Tell yes. us about your car. I actually won this car in a raffle. Did you really? Wow. <laughs> so this, is a, this came from Bridge Classic Cars in Ipswich. So which model is it? This is the 2.8 litre bi-turbo. It's the bi e. Okay. Spider E. It's a wonderful car, but it's, it's a Maserati, so, mm. <laughs> you know. And uh, it, so I like, I like that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Has it broken down yet? Of course it has. Hey. <laughs> After about 96 miles <laughs> and a big four-figure bill to pay for it to get it fixed. But that's part and parcel of owning a 32-year-old Italian sports car. Oh, really. yeah, very true. Uh, we've got 400 cars here. Not another one of these though, is there? There really is. No. There's only 144 ever made of this model. I have no idea how many are left in the UK. I wouldn't have thought very many. No. no. Oh, single figures. This. Was, yeah, basically, <laughs> basically this. this. It does attract a lot of attention. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a handsome beast. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. It's yeah. lovely, Thank isn't it? You. I love it. Right then, where, where should we go now? Okay, as we go along the line here, we've got a lovely Fiat 2300S. Beautiful. 595 competizioni. We're going to see 500. a way load of those very, very shortly. I've there got a feeling a... that there's going to be an overdose <laughs> of Fiat 500's lovely Ferrari 360 Modena. Now this is, uh, I think, an auto, but look at that beautiful that sort of silvery oh, blue. Lovely. I came close to buying a spider, one of these, a manual spider in this colour, and I've always had a soft spot for that. That's lovely. It's also got the Challenge grille on the back. Yes, didn't you... Uh... Didn't you have a challenge, Tridali, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. What, okay, what, moving what on it? quickly. Uh... Now, here we go. Now, this is going to be one of the stars of the show, mainly because I don't think there's going to be many of them, and also we have an extreme soft spot for them. <laughs> yes, we this do. This is the Lancia Integrale, the Delta Integrale. Now, you notice I'm saying Lancia now, no, sure, not no, you've Lancia. Pronounced that. No, it's Lancia. You've pronounced that wrong. Yeah. Soz. We should probably say this. In the UK, we have always called them... Lancia's yes. because that's what 
Top Gear and Jeremy Clarkson always called them Lancia. However, because it's Italian and our American viewers will correct us on this, we're supposed to call them Lancia. Yeah. So I guess we should call it that from now on. But either way... I'm not going to, by the way. It's an Integrale, which is a very special rally weapon. Left-hand drive, obviously. This one's got creamy leather in it, which offsets, goes next to this blue beautifully. This is a stunning car. Absolutely stunning car. This is nice. This is nice. It's unusual to see them in a blue. Normally it's a red or a white or something like that. This is a really lovely, lovely car. And, and I can't see much rust on it at all. So <laughs> someone really is looking after it. And also this is just like, this is a kind of standard one. Normally they're all special editions of some kind. All of them. This is literally the only one here I've seen come in. Yeah, yeah. That's how rare they are. That's how rare or unreliable they are. So we've got a whole line here of Maseratis, mainly Gran Turismos and Cabriolets, the odd Quattroporte. But to be honest, I've already had my Maserati moment with the Grand Sport and I don't, I'm not really that excited about anything. Quite like the MC20, quite like the uh, Kuro, Kukuaro, whatever, whatever the convertible cello. one is. Cello. cello. Quite like the cello. Um, but actually, what we've got over here is quite the most tasteful Huracan that I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I, I'm, I wonder if the, the reason why it's here on its own is because he's been drummed out of the Lamborghini Club for it being too subtle. Yeah, exactly. It's so very it's... tasteful, very subtle. You would never even really know it's a Lamborghini. Slightly bright wheels, but actually look how well it goes against the dark grey. I know. I mean, this is an Evo, so it's even cooler, really. But look at these fabulous it's the, uh... open engine bay slats here. What I also like, polished black, not forged carbon. Not forged carbon. Whoever brought this, congratulations. You have a very stylish car, sir. Very un-Lamborghini, but as a consequence, ultra cool. Tick. Now over here, we're gonna enter Ferrariville. This is Bob's F12. As you can see, bright yellow. Uh, he has, I think he's had over 50 Ferraris in his lifetime. He's a massive Ferrari fan. He's quite irked uh, about not getting some of the newer, hotter models, Awkward. but the less said about that, the better. The F12 really is blossoming and it is uh, maturing like a oh, fine wine. Honestly, I love the F12. It's one of my favorite Ferraris. It sounds better than an 812, a yeah. bit more old school. As a consequence, bit more floaty in the corners. But Classy. Bob's example, very cool indeed. Now, here we go, we're going right up to date here. This is a 296, so this is the new hybrid, the little baby V6. What do yeah. you think, Jason? I have a real soft spot for this car. I, what? I, yeah, I know. What? It reminds me of a kind of GT40. It's got that look about it. However, I'm gonna be a little bit controversial. It does look better in the pictures than it does in the flesh. There is a little bit of that. This actually is a GTS. This is the convertible one. Yeah. So that means, I mean, actually, this is probably one of the first I've ever seen on the road. Yeah, it's quite a rare beast, yeah. But you just don't notice it. You can see he's gone, he or she has gone for the red but contrasting black top to make it look lower, clever. Yeah, clever. You like the GT40-ness of it. I know. I what do you mean. like the GT40-ness because if yeah. you come if you get down low yeah. and you look along that line, that rear haunch yes. with that intake. And that front wing is very GT40. And actually as well, this is very GT40 Very as GT40. Because well. it sort of flicks up at the back. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you yeah. mean. I still don't want one. V6 but, hybrid, you see. But I am due to drive one on hashtag drive every Ferrari oh, fairly nice. soon. Good, good, so good uh, yeah, we shall see on this one, but uh, really nice to see a GTS out in the wild. Now, Roma. Two Romas, dark blue, Tour de France probably and silver. Now out of the two, which is your favourite? Blue. Blue, really? Yeah. I think I like the silver out of these two. Yeah, look how sharp it looks. Cross my palm with silver. Now both of these cars have got sort of tan leather in them, which Oops. is pretty cool. But the Roma actually, I'm coming around to the Roma. Oh, good I Lord. initially hated it. Well, why? Then of I've course. sort of got used to it. And now actually in the right colour, I think they look pretty smart. This would be a perfect everyday Ferrari, one that you could just jump in, drive around, not care about it as much. This, I think, is the subtle thinking man's Ferrari, kind of like the 456. But mm. isn't this just like a Portofino in a dress? No. Oh, this is something special. This is something special. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an 812 GTS. And not just any 812 GTS. Oh no, not just any 812 GTS. This one, 
is in Rosso Magma. So this is the launch color for the Daytona SP3. And even on quite dull day where the sun is struggling to get through, it absolutely pops. pops. It's an unbelievable special color on this car. And as you can see, this is a retirement present to its owner. And I think this is a keeper because we've got those ingredients that you always want from a GTS, which is it's open top, looks super cool. It's painted shields, which you absolutely have to have on the 812 because it's got such massive wings on it. And also the owner has added some 812 GTS flourishes on the rear buttress. What I like about this car is they've been very subtle with the interior. You know, yep. we've gone black, but we've got a little cup couple of bits of red, a little bit of red stitching. It's not yep. over the top, very, very subtle. In direct contrast to that beautiful red car that we've just seen over there, we have another GTS, but look how subtle it is. Look at the difference. Very subtle. It almost disappears into the crowd. Yeah, if you've got a GTS, you probably want it to be in a bit of a brighter color, a bit of blue electro, a bit of magma, but in the old gray there, even though it's got cream seats, yeah, it's a little bit too much of a, a bit subtle. shrinking wallflower. But here we've got some very special cars. Now these are 250 GTEs. So this is real classic Ferrari stuff. I happen to know that this car here is one of the best in the country, without doubt. It's looked after by Emblem Sports Cars. And hopefully at some point in the future, I can persuade the owner to let me take this out for drive every Ferrari. But we'll watch this space. As we walk down here though, past another 250 GTE, black one. Black one. How are you feeling about these? Do you like them? I absolutely love these. Like I think the they're really classics. good. Yeah, I love Very them. Very gentlemanly, isn't it? Yeah, that big V12 in the front, yeah. purring away. You know, how expensive could that be to run, seriously? I mean, can't, can't be any money at all. <laughs> it can't can be it? barely anything. What we have here. Oh, we've got a treat for you now. Is a 348, but it's not just any 348, it is your 348. It's my 348, absolutely. Tell us a little bit about this car then. Right, well I've had it 20 years. 1,000 miles when I got it, it's now 54,000 miles. Wow. So it gets used, it gets used hard. It's been up Prescott Hill Grind 14 times in a day. Wow. Um, it's been around Castle Coon, Top Gear Track. Have you fettled this car in any Is way, Is it modified? Sir? Is it modified? No, only the exhaust. Really? What about, yeah. that? What about the ride height? Right height was well, wound down a little bit, but they're designed <laughs> to be wound down, aren't they? It's adjustable suspension on these cars, of so course. you can wind it down. Oh, it's concourse, it's concourse. I say. <laughs> One thing you need to know about this car, when it came in from a distance, I thought we were looking at a Competizione. The reason I thought that is because it sits a little bit lower than the normal car, but also it has a tubey exhaust and uh, straight pipes. So this thing sounds incredible yeah yeah incredible is definitely the word for it this is stradali levels of noise <laughs> this it's is brilliant. 130.1 decibels at the moment is it good <laughs> there you go 131 that's Goodness. not getting you on many tracks these days <laughs> is it go on then start it up then go Come on then on. we've got to do it we've got to start it up again haven't we The sun has come out sun at come last, out. just in time to shine on this Dino. Never really been my full cup of tea, no, but I have to say not I am, keen. heard lots about it, never driven one, but I am actually quite looking forward to it. There's a little bit of me just really does want to try it. Moving on. What about you? Have you nothing oh, not what? for you? Sorry? Not for you? No, no, it's not it's not my cup of tea. Okay. This though, you have one of these. 355 Spider. It's a manual car. Crema. Yeah. That's lovely. Brilliant. This is a 360. It is not a, a Challenge Stradale as it purports to be. It is just a 360, but looks pretty cool. This is almost exactly like the 360 Spider that I almost bought. Almost it's bought. The same color. Yes. Uh, if it's in a manual, it is a manual. So for all I know, this is, this the, is car. the one. This is the car. Now, Love that color. This is good, but nothing, nothing, nothing looks better than a 360 in yellow. It does look better in yellow, look I'll at give it. you that. Look at that. This is a colour called Jallo Fly, and I've always, always loved a 360 mm. in this colour, right back from when it was first launched. It looks I'd like amazing. to say that the uh, 360 is growing on me, but I still I have issues with it. It's I don't like the way the wheels are tucked under there, and those mm. lights, I can't deal with those lights. To me, though, I actually think it's 
it's got better with age. I used to hate the 360, but now yeah. actually I, I quite you like quite it. quite like it. Well, it's a 430, which 430 is essentially a, a 360 with different headlights. Exactly. And literally, That's inside, it. if you sit inside, they are <laughs> very, very similar. Identical. We're now in a sort of V8, line of V8 cars, and this is a Tributo Spider. Oh, an F8. F8 Spider. Very yeah. nice. Yeah, which, if you'll notice, yes, I was going to say, yes. if you notice, grey with brown, a connoisseur, sir, a very classy <laughs> choice. Oh, carbon wheels. Oh, my day. Seriously? Did you see them before you purchased them? Before yeah, you purchased yeah, the yeah, car, yeah, you yeah. knew it had carbon wheels, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're certifiable? I have to say, with, with a detail of carbon on the car, they do just stay up there. Oh, they're wonderful looking things, don't get me wrong. They're throw away though. But, yeah. you know. Yeah, they are throw away. Yeah, they throw away at what, £14,000 or something? Yeah, I think it's a 37 grand auction. That's some 37? 37 for all four. Something like that. What's the chance of you curbing all four though? Not, not much chance of that. We should just mention, Possibly the prettiest 246 Dino I've ever seen. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen a more Italian looking car than this? Yeah, okay, all right. Light blue, beautiful, tan leather manual. It is, th oh, look at that. Look at the black yeah. roof on it. It's absolutely superb. That inside there, that cockpit. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. Look at that. The only problem with it is, it's badges, isn't it? No, it's historic. It's historic. It's, it was Enzo's son, for goodness sake. How, yeah, can, how can you not get misty-eyed oh. about Enzo's son? Because he, because Enzo refused to have Ferrari badges on it. That's why. Well, it's a tribute. Look at to it. To what? To his son. Oh. Dino. Oh. Jason, I believe you may want to talk about this little number. Well, yes, because I have one of these uh, little Fiat 500. Does it run? Yes, it does run. Is it running right now? It's running, it running right exactly now. now? Exact, well, not right now, because I'm here. Okay. And, and what do you like about these cars? Absolutely because everything, because driving it... I don't understand. Really? Because I'm pretty sure if you go back and look at our back catalogue, you'll see Damien laughing his <laughs> pants off, driving our Fiat 500, having the time of his life. Ferraris, puh, you don't need any of that nonsense. I'll tell you one thing Just I one do like about this car. I honestly feel I could pick it up. <laughs> That's what I like about it. You can put it in your pocket. Now, you don't see these on the roads that often. Uh, this is a Fiat Barchetta and it is in a vivid yellow, but I've always quite liked this and this one almost made it into our budget for less than 10 grand mm. list. Here we are then, technically in the Alfa Romeo field, but we've got some interlopers like this beautiful yellow. 308. Do not see many yellow 308, see you? No. Do not see many. That is really nice. I quite like that. It's almost as good as this classic 330. It's a little bit of a sad tale because a lot of 330s are actually cannibalized to make recreations of other more expensive ones. Really? And therefore, I don't know why would you do under, that? This is under threat because this is basically the underpinnings of lots of those replicas. I, I, I don't know why you do that. This is an absolutely gorgeous car, absolutely gorgeous. So, as we walk back here, we've got another 348 there. We've so another hard top. I bet that uh, one's not as noisy. No, looks fairly <laughs> stock that one. Quite a pristine Alfa Romeo 156, which I've always enjoyed the body of this car. I've always sort of had a hankering, mm. particularly. The estate version. I don't know if that's 159 yeah, or 156. Yeah. I think there is one here, actually, it's a blue one, I think. Oh. Frankly, Stop all the, the cars press. are overshadowed by this. Jason, what is this? So this is a Maserati Ghibli Ghibli SS. SS. This might just be Best car of the show. The car of the show. And the sun comes out just oh, to look show at off it. that copper paint. Stupendous copper coloured arrowhead. Look at it. Oh, it's... it doesn't get more Italian than this. It's just superb, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Is this a bit of you? That is a massive piece of me. Oh, look how many switches. Look at how many switches there are. Look. <laughs> look at that. Switches and gauges coming out of your wazoo. Acres of glass. It is absolutely pristine. Now, this is obviously loved by someone. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, well done. <laughs> 
Alfa Romeo SZ. Now we saw one of these at Fast Classics. This is one of the cars that we would categorise as always, always want one, but never actually had the kahunas to buy one. No, you look at them and the build quality is a little bit iffy. You're kind of worried if it's ever going to start more than three times in a year. But look at the shape but of it. But look at the shape of it. Classic sort of pepper pot wheels. I think they're all, are they all in red? I've never seen one in a different I've color. never seen a different colored one. What, what is it about this? We just can't get it out of our heads. I know, and the thing is, is, is I always think about it and I go, wouldn't it be amazing? And then I look at one in the flesh and I go, oh, I don't know if I could live with that. No, especially at 40 grand or whatever they're Which they are from. now. When yeah. they were around 20. So this is exactly what we just talked about. This is the 156 wagon and you basically don't even have a pulse if you're not excited by this car. <laughs> it's a, it's an estate, it's an alpha. Almost no one makes an estate as stylish as this. This is a very stylish car. I don't care if it like doesn't run or if it's only worth 40p after you bought it. Yeah. I just think it's wonderful. Is that real? If that's real, then I'm seriously in love with it. I think you should buy it immediately. What about these Fiat 124s? What have we got to say about those? I think what we're going to say is, I didn't think they allowed Japanese cars in here. <sighs> Awkward. So a little interlude here. We're here at Hurricane e-bikes, and I just thought I'd give you a quick view of these, because actually, I'm quite taken with this. The original idea was um, a subscription, e-bikes on subscription. So one cost per month, you can have any bike, um, include servicing, tyres, and then you can have it for four months. After four months, you can hand it back. Not many people do. It's the personalisation as aspect I really like, and the fact that yeah, I could yeah. apply classic racing liveries. Absolutely. That's what gets me That's going. A to B with a smile. A to B with a smile. Probably also worth pointing out that although I am uh, deeply against electric cars, <laughs> bikes, <laughs> on the other hand, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> I think this is a great application. I love these so SoCal looking bikes. I'm all over that. You're all over this, aren't yeah, you? It's nice. You could probably get two people on there as well. Steady on, what, what are you suggesting? <laughs> the Ferrari 328. So this really is your next car, your, yeah. your Ferrari. This is, um, yeah, I, there's something about the 328. It's just a little bit more muscular than yep. the 308. Yes. I think they're a bit more reliable. Yes. And um, a bit faster. A bit faster. Be better built. Yes, much, much better built. Mm -hmm. This is definitely the car of the car guy's future. So it just might be that your mm. car collection of Why would you do that? Why did you rust, do that? Rusty old guff could well have one of these in it, which would elevate it way beyond its current status. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah, it would go from where you are currently to slightly less like a Although, wrecking yard. Although, however, what about mm. if we didn't go that route and we went this route instead? This route? Yeah. Like one a, of these? Like a Fulvia. How about that? Instead of the well, three, two... Well, I love these. Of course. Why wouldn't you? But I love that more. more. Okay, so here we have the... The Gamma Consortium. Launch Gamma Consortium. Yeah. Now you don't see these on the road at all because they almost certainly rust within six seconds, but look how elegant they are. Look how beautiful. Look how straight the line is all the way through the car. There is something about mm. old Italian four-seater saloon cars, <gasps> aren't they? I mean, it's just so look good. At them. They're so stylish, especially as it's about to rain. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> cover them up, cover them up quickly. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode at Bewley for Simply Italian. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the cars and listening to us talking absolute toilet about most of them. What was your favourite out there? Out of the... Uh, the 812 GTS was yes. pretty special, but obviously it's the Maserati Ghibli SS. Yes, it is. That is the car of the show for us. Don't forget to subscribe, ding the notification bell for when we have another film uploaded. Find us on Instagram and don't forget to buy that merch. And there'll be another episode of The Car Guys next week. <laughs>